Hey everybody, hope you all are doing good. Since this English version channel is kind of new for me, and I have already got a nice experience on uh, my original Ukrainian channel, I decided to share my best videos with you. So this will be the first one, and then next one will be coming in the original uh, form, in the original, like, um, how I made in there. But I will also actually translate with my live voice for you, so it will be easier to understand what's going on. So let's start. And uh, mainly these videos will be about wind turbines and the topics I've explained to you already in the introductionary video, if you're uh, as I mentioned for the first time. Uh, but yeah, let's go first and start with a small vertical wind turbine called Smart X3. You can find it under different names, but taking by but by taking a look at it, you'll literally figure out what kind of turbine is this and let me show you how I actually did it perform during my first very first experience with the wind turbines so let's go so here it is first initial test actually uh showed that well it's actually good enough to test on even low height currently it's two meters only but since i have really an open um open land around me it doesn't matter because if the wind actually blows freely you are free to test so as you may see the spin is crazy without any inverter any load just like to free just like the free spin to see if it actually uh works or not um yeah i got this wind turbine uh, really um, how do you call this uh it, it was a very impulsive buy the problem is that uh, actually I did not learn at that time too much about wind turbines uh, and I just wanted to start with, some, some, with something and to check how it goes. I decided to go first with small vertical and then the small horizontal and actually small vertical was the first one to arrive. So that's why I'm doing uh, the test for it really uh, at, at the first place. Um, it was stated as to be a two kilowatt wind turbine. I connected actually to my two kilowatt grid tie inverter, which I bought at the same time. And you know what? The voltage output, you may see it on the like uh, on, on the left side of the screen. It's five, five point something, 5.4 right now. It's not the max that I've seen actually out of it, but it's really at its uh, normal realistic values. But yeah, the, the, the inverter is basically great. So I have no complaints about this. It works already for a nice amount of time, almost a year, and it behaves really, really nicely, really handy. But the wind turbine itself is absolutely not giving anything. Not giving anything. Let me remind you, it free spins until the, the, the inverter kicks in to uh, basically take some amperage out of it. So until 23 volts are reached of the... Uh, of the voltage basically you don't have any amps coming in so even in free spin mode it cannot actually go higher the max i've seen from it uh, at the very very max was 7.8 i think volts going out of it this is literally nothing and i mean um the problem with the turbine itself is the generator because you see well you know if you have the wind like this for example here once we are going with the kids uh, and doing some <laughs> windsurfing with the, with the kite, uh, basically, when you have the wind, the wind will rotate, and it rotates quite nicely, but the generator itself was not able to produce anything because it had... Uh, it, it, it is basically a crappy one. It has two small magnets, it has two small copper, and yeah, here is just like one more live example. So you see the rotation. Rotations are quite good. I don't have the any meter because, but you, you, you can see in the wind. I at that moment I didn't have any uh, any anemometer, but actually the forecast was telling me that it was like somewhere between seven and eight meters per second. And let's check the output. You see the inverter is as close to the turbine as possible. And what's the voltage? Five point two, five point four, five point two. That's nothing, you know. And yeah, that's the situation you will find yourself with this kind of wind turbines. I'm not giving up on it, you know, because um, basically you can get something from this rotor, but not from this generator. And these two things are very different. So let me let me let me sum it up roughly. In any default manufacturer's view 
this turbine is not recommended to get. Absolutely not. It will not get you anything until you reach maybe 10, 12 meters per second. And at, even at that point, you may probably on some controllers see only a couple of watts. Um, that's the reality. So yeah, I have this fan as, as, a, as only a joke and a play. That's it. So don't make the same mistakes as I did.